Hey everybody, Dan Schindler here. More live coverage of the NAMM Show 2019 on Drum Talk TV here with Mark Showman, currently the drummer of Pink, has and also I'm played- here with Dan Schinder, currently the host of Drum Talk TV. That's right, and Mark That's is cool. also- I'm gonna tell you a little, little ditty about us. Uh-oh. We kind of grew up in the same area. Yeah. We're a few years apart, but we went to the same junior, junior high, high school and high school. high school, and he claims that he knows me from back then, <laughs> and I won't take any responsibility for what I did back then. Mark's a burnout, he doesn't remember. No, I'm kidding. Mark's also played but with Foreigner, with Cher. Foreigner, Cher. Uh, I did a stint with Velvet Revolver when Matt right. Sorum broke his hand. Right. Played with Pink, Simple Minds, Billy Idol, yeah. Stevie Nicks, yeah. Cheryl Crow. Yeah. I'm a blessed man. Those are some really good backup bands Just that couple, you've had. a couple, a couple of names. <laughs> and of course, we're the greatest artists on the planet with Pink. Yeah. We're going into our 13th year together. Wow, it's been that long. Uh, I'm so grateful for that, man. We're, we did six months last year on the road. We're doing three months in America it, this year. And then we're doing three months in Europe playing all stadiums. Wow. It just gets better and better. Then we're doing rock and roll, which I've never done. Oh, you haven't? Oh, that's, that's one, good. That was right. one of my bucket lists. So I'm... Look at me. I'm, I know I'm you're happy. Happy. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bathing in gratitude. Does, does your wife remember what you look like? Yes, so okay. does my kid. Good. My kid has been on 230 flights nice. because they travel out a lot to see, uh, see me. That's they want to see daddy. They need to come out and travel. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I know. Great. Yeah. You've been with Pink all these years. Yeah. When you arrived at Pink, you already had a great pedigree, a great acumen in the business as a professional drummer. Since you've been with Pink, I was a purebred. Yeah. yeah. What's What's the biggest thing you've learned from the last that amount of years with Pink? Well, she pays attention to every nuance and every detail. She is so meticulous, and she's the hardest working artist with whom I've ever worked. Wow. She not only sings so meticulously, but think about all of the concentration that goes into aerial stunts that she does herself. That's great. And what surprises me is there's there are not even any new young budding artists even attempting to do what she does. So her attention to detail inspires such meticulous attention to detail for all of us. Great. I mean, I told the story for years that I play every note like it's the last note I might ever play or right. like my life depended on it. Right. With Pink, it's even more severe because I feel like a mere mortal. I'm sitting on the ground watching her literally doing death-defying stunts. Realize for the Video Music Awards that she did a live stunt from hanging on a 40-story building, wow. the JW Marriott in downtown LA, a glass building. She did aerial ballet 200 feet above the ground. While singing. While singing live without a net. Just, just I mean, doesn't even make sense. needing to pay attention to every minute nuance, and that's yeah. who she is. So that she expects the rest of all of us. <laughs> That's a and she deserves pretty high bar yeah. because she's really great. Yeah, and the fans are crazy about her, crazy. and of yes, course the be. band, and, the music. And what's weird is, she literally took five years off, and taking five years off generally in the pop music business is something that most people can't do. Right, and she come back, back and just fire it stronger up. than ever. No, I mean, stronger yeah. than ever. Yeah. Like I think it's the timing also, just her her socio political beliefs and what she stands for. And, She's such a role model for women and girls, and she's, and she's an incredible yeah. person. I mean, wow. she's, you know, we're like family, like the whole 120 people on the road, it's yeah. like one big family. That's a lot of people, yeah. right? Yeah. And what? she's the boss. It's top down. It's yeah. a reflection of who she is. That's awesome. Yeah. That is an inspiration. Yeah. What have you got going on outside of that? Anything? Well, so outside of that, outside like of that? that, I do a few speaking gigs. Okay. I'm writing another book. Good. Um, being a father, that's important. Uh, really paying a lot of attention with my wife to, to my daughter and, and the nuances in her life. She's right. a very special kid. And I'm doing a good amount of sessions, still good. writing, still producing, great. doing some underscoring, some commercials, a hybrid of everything. That's because great. that's what we need to do in this industry. Yeah, stay busy and do lots of different things. Very yeah. important. And having a ball, man. Absolutely. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Dan. We'll do a more in-depth online interview when you have time. I think so. All about I your I think journey. so. What do you guys think? Yeah. Should we do it? Should we do it? Yeah. Do Good. It. Okay, we will. We'll do it. There yeah. we go. Good. All right, Dan. Thank you so much. You rock, Thank you. You do, too. Thank you. You all rock for following Mark Schulman and myself here on live TV coverage.
of the NAMM Show 2019. We'll see you again soon.